Can I get in? I can. Yep. There is plenty of room in here. Hey y'all, welcome back to Doug's Cars. It's, it's still Lincoln week here, right? So this is a final generation Lincoln town car. This is the signature model, and it has what every Ford has, this awesome keypad here to let yourself in. Uh, you've got Lincoln badges everywhere. You've got four feet of, of trunk, and it is in this really cool, um, you know, light bronze color with a tan interior. It's, you know, 18 feet of car. Look at the, the length of this hub with that 4.6 liter modular V8 underneath it. These are really comfortable cars, these Panther platform cars. And, and they're not they're not super powerful by any means, but they have adequate power in the old, you know, Rolls Royce style. And they were bought by every retiree in Florida. But they're not just for people who don't have to go to work every day. This would be a great car to drive to work. It's actually not even that bad on gas. So comfortable. And you know, look at the size of the, the sidewalls of the tires. You know this car is going to have a good ride. This was not tuned on the Nurburgring to go in 10 minutes. This. This is something that you can just waft across the country in, in supreme comfort. And you know what? I have never driven one of these late model town cars. I've driven the earlier ones, but this design, other than the mid 90s, which was kind of the slightly squared off, not the 80s model, this is my favorite of the redesigned post 2003 Panther platform ones and just, you know, bask in its magnificence. What a, what a, what a handsome car. I'm not going to say pretty, but what a handsome car. This, uh, with the chrome accents and everything, this just screams Americana and Lincoln, and there is definitely a bug in front of my face, and I'm going to do this. Okay, let's take a look at some of the awesome features of this car. Why is this bug in here? And uh, then we'll take it for a ride. One Lincoln badge, two Lincoln badges. Power trunk release. Nope, that's the gas filler release. Power trunk release. There we go. Oh, and it opens by itself. I always love these trunks. Wow, that's different. Okay, there's a space saver to spare over there. I've never seen a cover like this before, which it's hard to get back in. So the fuel tank is up in there, and there's storage up in there, and older ones would have the tire there. But look at all the space in here. There's a high lift over, even though it's pretty much flush with the bumper to get way down in there. But you could put a bunch of suitcases in upright, which is why these were perfect as livery vehicles. I mean, and it's so nice and lined. And you've, you've got your emergency exit handle with the person running away in case you're stuck in here. But you probably wouldn't need to let yourself out because if you're stuck in here, you've got the kitchen sink, you've got everything you need because it's massive. I would fit in there. Um, let's see, can I get in? I can. Yep. There is plenty of room in here. I'm not gonna close that though because I'm very claustrophobic. But hey, I mean, there's there's space up there for, you know, your luggage if you're stuck in here. It's not very comfortable. I'm getting out. Let's take a look at the driver's door now, where all the controls are. And you've got this neat little contraption here to store glasses, sunglasses, whatever you want. You've got carpeting, you've got fake wood trim, you've got leather, you've got soft touch materials, and you have all the controls you need. Here's your power seat, seat heater even, power windows, mirrors, as I mentioned before. You've got your gas door release and your trunk release that's lockable. You've got power operated pedals and you've got uh, skid control. And look at this leather. It's just so soft and cushiony. I mean, there's a reason Tyler Hoover loves these things. These are comfy. You can just cruise in these. And then the back seat, it's massive. And you've got ashtrays for everyone. And I just realized even these have a bit of gold on them or bronze even. The airbags in the seat, rear climate vents and of course a very comfy soft look at how soft that is armrest with cup holders you could ride back here all day long and not be fatigued and you've got that solidity of the body on frame car where they just don't make them like that no one is ever going to make a v8 rear wheel drive body on frame car ever again it's just not going to happen and that's sad i know it's Old technology, but not all old technology is bad. Nothing is going to have a ride like this anymore. And, you know, they just don't make these anymore. That's sad. So let's hop in, take a look at the dash, and then fire up, take her for a drive. So we've got 
Similar gauges as to the Mark LT that I drove earlier, but this is not the same steering wheel. It does have all kinds of buttons on it for all your controls, although they seem to be wearing a little bit. This car is, you've got massive ashtray, got all your climate control and stereo controls, and, and even a clock that's not a Cartier or anything like that. But hey, again, you've got another storage bin on that side, more soft, cushiony leather, and you've got glove box uh, full of mask because 21 and auto dimming rearview mirror you've got overhead consolette this car does not have a sunroof some of them did but most of them did not and you've got wood and leather everywhere this actually feels like wood it may be i'm not sure if you know let me know in the comments below if these had real wood it's it's obviously burled and polished like on a piano i mean this is this doesn't look like the wood in my i3 that's open pour open grain definitely old school here you've got the separate remote fob with the trunk release and then the lincoln key and i love how these sound when they start it's it's always fun to watch a panther car in a movie uh because they're in all kinds of movies and, you know like you know, iron man movies all those movies from the from you say 1995 to 2015 taxi cabs police cars anything like that, livery cars in the Lincoln, they all have the same engine and they all sound the same when they start up and... Yes. So this one only has 84,000 miles on it and you know, it, it's, it feels really nice. It's, the seat's nice, it's not cracked. Um, it looks like the average economy was 11.8 miles per gallon, which I find hard to believe because these were actually pretty good on fuel, especially on the highway. You know, no tachometer, don't need it. No need for one. Okay, yeah, the brake pedal is soft, like in the Mark LT. I was shocked. If you've not seen my Mark LT pickup video, check that out. I can link to that up above. The brake pedal traveled like six inches before anything happened, and this kind of has the same feel. I I'm just, I guess, not used to American cars like this. Column shift, of course. And let me back on down the driveway here. A little bit of a little bit of squeakiness on the brakes, but it hasn't been driven in a while, unfortunately. Uh, I, I must thank the, the family who's letting me drive their Lincoln garage, their ultimate Lincoln garage, because this has just been such a fun day. How often do you get to drive these two American behemoths back to back and wonder why this outsold that? Because pickup trucks are king in this country. They really are. Oh, it's so quiet and serene. Again, such a difference to the to the Mark LT, which yes has an aftermarket Magnaflow exhaust in this factory, but it's just so quiet, and serene. And the air conditioning is lightly blowing at 70 degrees on auto. And yeah, this is just comfortable. Now these roads are pretty nice here. I'm in a, a semi-rural suburban setting. But I don't hear anything. I don't even really hear the engine and that engine start noise that I mentioned earlier that's always the mark of a good or bad Foley editor because in every movie if you see one of these and you hear it start up and it sounds like a Honda then the Foley editor didn't do their job correctly and they didn't put in the right sound but that's what it should sound like it's a very unique Ford sound yeah oh yeah so the brakes again they work they work well uh, even the turn signal is quiet and maybe that's not a good thing because a lot of people who own these cars probably don't have the best hearing anymore can i just say how cool it is to drive a car with a hood ornament sticking up that's such a rarity these days nobody has those anymore here are little beans here she lifts up her skirts and the front end lifts up a bit i mean there's there's not a whole lot of beans to give this 4.6 only had like 227 horsepower or 237 with the dual exhaust i believe so i know this is over 4,000 pounds of car you're not gonna move like in a modern Mercedes or BMW that, you know, S-Class size car, 7 Series, those have 500 horsepower. They will definitely go. But that, this hand, that corner was great. I didn't slide anywhere. The car didn't lean over like a Citroën du Chevaux, which is what I would have expected. Again, in a car that's more than 10 years old, granted, it does have very low miles for the year, but um, hey, when you have two Lincolns in your garage, you don't have to put all your miles on one of them. And yeah, it's, just, it's just so serene. So I'm gonna make a 90 degree right turn here. 
onto a main road where we can give a little bit more speed and okay I can hear the engine there a little bit yeah, it was 40 45 50 and that was by no means full throttle that was just a light stab on the pedal I like this I I get it like I I understood why and I even almost bought a Mercury Marauder when they came out but the dealer had one on the lot with like 800 miles on it and they were not willing to dicker with the price at all I just wasn't gonna pay sticker for something with a thousand miles on it already hey, I'm just going along at 55 miles an hour don't even realize it you know I said in my Mark LT video that that would be great to cross the country on this would be I get why these sell better now maybe that's why the Mark LT didn't sell as well is because people who want a pickup truck want a pickup truck and they're fine having the Ford brand name on there and having their leather lined interior but the people who buy a Lincoln this is what they want or this is what they wanted now they all want you know small SUVs because that's what everybody seems to make and large SUVs and the Navigator which is probably the the modern day equivalent of what this is since Americans still like rear-wheel drive biased V8 vehicles they're just not sedans anymore you have to get a large SUV to do that and they still sell every one they make I'm pretty sure the Navigator production was like held back I mean they, they, were, they couldn't even make them fast enough this is this is so nice hmm. Hoovy, you are correct this is exactly the kind of car you want when you live in a place like Wichita where all the roads are flat and straight and there's no major turns and you just want to set the cruise control and go if you live in western North Carolina in the mountains this is probably not the car for you because it's not going to handle those so well but hmm. I, I've got to get one of these I don't need to own it for my whole life I don't need to have it for years I just need a Panther platform car for myself I would take a Crown Vic I really not a huge fan of the looks of the Grey Marquis and I would also take a town car one of these of the last restyle the the newest generation there was a major platform update in 2003 and after that they they look like this for the duration of their uh, few years left on earth until they were taken out of production in 2011 and, man. <laughs> this is just nice can you tell I like this car can you tell I like this car better than that pickup which is fine it's a pickup it's not meant to do this and I don't think they I don't think they succeeded as well at, in, in bringing along this kind of quality in a ride because you can't center gravity is higher you've got an old-fashioned you know leaf spring rear end although I think this is on coils with a live axle so it's really not new technology either but you don't need new technology to ride like this when you've got a body on frame vehicle you just isolated from the road from the road noise and you've got this big expansive hood in front of you that just screams oh there's an MGB driving by that just screams American Americana like vistas looking through that Lincoln hood ornament on the front end it's like a gun sight it's just it's just American perfection it and take that however you want because uh, there's a lot of things that are not perfect about this country but we made big heavy comfy rear-wheel drive sedans really well for a long time and you know I've really enjoyed my day in these two Lincolns I honestly thought I'd like that pickup more and I don't and that's surprising to me because I'm more of a truck person I mean I'm currently daily driving a, a Land Rover Discovery 3 that was a thousand dollars it's worse mileage than this and isn't as comfortable I'm doing this wrong so hey I love cars and I love bringing car content so hit subscribe on my channel right now if you want to see more car content coming your way right now and just thanks so much for watching Doug's Cars because without your support I wouldn't be doing this and man Lincoln Day this is fantastic